After years of coloring my hair at home, my hair was gross. The color was gross. The texture was gross. The ends were gross. There was nothing good about my hair. Sure, I could start going to the salon every month to get my hair colored, but that wasn't really in line with my financial goals. I knew there had to be a cheaper solution, and there was much cheaper. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I are on the Dave Ramsey baby steps to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt. There are things I'm willing to spend money on every month and coloring my hair is not one of them. Today I am going to go over with you my very cheap, very easy way to keep my hair from getting brassy every month. So if you are only interested in finding out what that secret was and not hearing the backstory, then go ahead and scroll to this time and that is where I tell you what that is. But I recommend you stay for the backstory because it's kind of like a confession. So let's jump in. I'm a hair snob. In my life, I've spent a lot of money on my hair. Seriously a lot. It's always been a priority for me. And in fact, no matter what my financial state, I was always able to find money to go to a quality hair salon and get a good color from a good colorist. For example, when I was first starting out, I was living in Los Angeles. I had a roommate and struggling to make ends meet, living on credit cards to pay the bills. And yet I managed to drive myself every six to eight weeks to Rodeo Drive to go to Kristoff Salon at $300 a whack. <laughs> Not even joking. And I get regular cuts. So regular, in fact, that I would schedule my next hair appointment, which would be a cut and a color and a blowout at the appointment I was at. I always had a hair appointment, always, yep. I was that girl. And I kept that up until pretty recently. But honestly, after living in Nicaragua, Colombia, and Mexico, I became less picky because guess what? The women there have naturally dark hair. And so I would go to salons and they wouldn't know what to do with me because I'm a natural blonde. I actually turned 100% gray in my mid 20s. So I am actually 100% gray, but I was before that, I was a natural blonde. So in those countries, I would frequently have to find the specialist to color my hair. Like that European person who was living as an expat in the country because they knew how to do blonde hair. Over time, I've gotten some pretty scary cuts and colors. And I set the bar way lower. And just before we started the Dave Ramsey baby steps, I started coloring my own hair. Kinda. Why do I say kinda? Well, because I went to YouTube University and learned how to color my own hair, picked the color that I wanted, but I made Mauricio color it. And he still colors it to this day. I mean, I've been watching people do it for like 30 years, so I had to have learned something. That's how I knew that my hair naturally pulls red, cause I had a lot of hairdressers complain about it. So I walked Mauricio through the process, and I'm not gonna lie, those first two hair colors were um bad, really bad. Bad. After trying a bunch of different brands and levels, we settled on Wella 10N and used a T18 Wella toner so it's more on the ashy side. At first, I would tone it about every third or fourth time that I colored my hair, but as time went on, it got to the point where I was having to tone it pretty much every single time I colored my hair. Essentially, what I would do is I would color my hair and then two weeks later, I would tone it because I would frequently pull the color through to some of the darker ends, but they would start getting really brassy after about two weeks. Finally, a couple of months ago, I went and got my hair professionally color corrected, which I hopefully will never have to do again because that was expensive and I was not okay with the amount of money I had to put forth to get my hair color corrected. See, I told you I'm a changed girl. So it's actually been eight weeks and the reason I am filming this video today is because if you can see my roots are well grown out and Mauricio is going to be coloring my hair. But look, it's been eight weeks and my hair is hardly brassy at all. In fact, it's even less brassy than it was three weeks ago before I found out this secret. So why is it less brassy? Because of this. I found this stuff at Sally's Beauty Supply. 
It comes in a ton of colors and not sponsored, by the way. I just thought I would share because if anybody else is suffering through what I'm suffering through, this stuff has been super helpful. It's um, Fancy Fold by Rue. So what is it? It is a temporary hair color rinse. Rinse in, shampoo out, instant formula. All you do is take a shower and wash your hair like you would normally. And then when you are done, pat your hair dry, get back in the shower and squirt it all over your head and work it through with your fingers like this until it gets through all the way to every part of your hair. Get out, wrap it in a towel and dry it out and you style it as you normally would. I basically use this stuff twice a week. I put it in one day and wash it out the next time I wash my hair, which is usually two days later because I don't wash my hair every day. And then it generally, because I guess my hair is so porous, it still sucks up a little bit. So it generally lasts for two washings for me. It's supposed to only last for one though. I do have a few warnings, however. Number one, this stuff will get everywhere. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do it naked in the shower. Squirt your hair while you're just getting out of the shower. Then when you're done, get out, put your hair in a towel, and then turn on the water in your shower and let the rest that's all over the walls, because it will be all over the walls, run down the drain. The second thing, for sure, use dark towels, because if you have white towels, it will discolor them. And I do have one towel that I was unable to get the color out of completely, even with bleach. It's supposed to be rinseable, so I don't understand why it won't come out of cotton, but hey, whatever. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> and the third one, if you are one of those people that washes your hair at night, you will absolutely 100% have to dry your hair completely before you go to bed, unless you have dark sheets. But it's gonna go through your pillowcase and get all over your pillow. So definitely recommended to dry your hair if you wash your hair at night. And if you don't have a Sally's nearby and you're interested, I'll put a link to Amazon down below where you can check it out. Like I said, it comes in a ton of color. So maybe you wanna just go red for one day. Buy the red one, it washes right out. I actually found this on Amazon, which is the same brand, but in mousse form. I don't like the mousse as much as I do the liquid. It doesn't coat as evenly and it leaves my hair feeling kind of filmy after I use it. I thought it would be better since I shower at night a lot of times, um, but this, it's, it's okay. It's not fantastic. I would stick with the liquid personally. So do you color your own hair? If so, what brand do you like? I've, I like Wella, I'm, I'm enjoying Wella products, but if there's like one brand down below that everybody is using, I might be inclined to try it just as long as they have, you know, 10 in. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.